Hello everybody. Today I'm going to introduce to you is how to record bank charges when you receive payment. It's always happened that, okay, for example, the client transfer the money to you, but they have a TT transfer phase or wiring phase or whichever so, and the small little phase they'll charge on you. So meaning to say that, for example, that the invoice is $100, but eventually you only receive $97, but the $3 is go for the bank charges. So how to do it in one shot? Very simple. Let's start from, let's do a sales, the enter sales. I select the custom mode and shoot maybe 100 pieces of the apple. Okay, I just record and go to setup, link account, sales account, and I access charges for late payment. Okay, take this. And instead of go to the late fees collected, you might want to go for the bank charges. Okay, click OK. Done. So after that, go to receive payment. I receive to UOB and ABC pay me the money. Instead of 107, I only receive 104. Okay, so check number and make uh, it's a TT transfer, just give me the numbers. And I click here 107 because I block off the whole invoice. But the balance negative 3, which is the bank charges, I just key at the final charge there. So that's all. I receive 104 in my bank. $3 go for bank charges, but I also knock off the invoice. Just press record and let's go to the transaction journal. Let's view only today transactions. Okay, so you will see that is the double entry. I debit my bank. I credit my debtors accounts and I also debit my bank charges. So after everything. That's all. Thank you.